What is up, Total Excellence? So guys, tonight, after uh, last night's stream, I've been inked. Eh, I don't know why I can't speak. Um, last night's stream, I've inked uh, my pinup back cover for Bump Back. And you guys are going to see it now. So this is it from last night's stream. And, you know, I'm just happy I finally got it done. Now, I'm doing the fun part, which is coloring it. So, I'm super excited. So, let me check on the chat. We got Salazar, Art Nation. I am here. No, he didn't say that. I'm early. You are indeed early, Salazar. Thanks for coming by, dude. And we got Nicholas Muller. Hey. Hey, dude. Thanks for coming by the stream, buddy. Alrighty, then. So... I'm super excited for Bump Back and just having just my, just being part of this project. I mean, it was one of those things when I first heard the pitch, I'm like, man, I really want to be a part of this project. And I'm just super, super happy that, um, you know, I'm one of the three artists that Paul approached. So very blessed and I'm just so happy to be part of this project. So I'm going to be doing my thing. I already spoke too much. I already spent like a minute and 30 seconds. So I'm going to be doing my thing, guys. In three, two, one, poof. All right. So now, before we start anything at all, uh, let me turn on a time lapse. So we'll turn up. Oh, shoot. I already had this on. That's very strange. Hmm, that was weird. I do not ever... That's weird. I never uh, remember ever turning it on, but whatever. So, bam. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, time lapse is on. So now, let's go on and start coloring, guys. All right, all right, all right. Now, it's going to be messy now. It go... Create a new layer called flax. That's always fun. All right, now I'm gonna be focusing on the colors. I already have like all my uh, my color references on another layer, so that way it's gonna be much easier for me to know uh, which ones are the light colors and what are the shadow colors for the for this character so pretty happy he's not getting all of it but I know for a fact my um, my line work is pretty tight so I'm pretty happy about that so to do try and get all of that in purple I won't be, just want to get this part done. Let's get all the parts that are pretty much purple. That one's purple too. Let's go in. Swoop it around. Bam. And then all the white stuff here. Bam. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. See, I believe the pants are purple as well. I can be wrong. Let me look into my uh, color palette, which is the other layer. And this is my cheat sheet, guys. It says cloth. Okay, so these are the colors for the pants. So the pants are black. So um, I will play around with the black color. Don't want to be too black. We might lighten it up a bit. But yeah, this is, you know, for any colorist, this is my, this is how I do it. This is the first time I ever do it actually on this live stream because you guys see me do live streams of my Sunday fun day coloring. I honestly don't do this, but now that it's just only, you know, one character, I don't really have any backgrounds to play around with it. So now that 
just to make it more neater and tighter. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I think I got the purples done. No, actually, I'm wrong. I gotta color the eyes. Well, not the eyes, but like uh, the design in the mask and the lip. Where's my paint bucket tool? There we go. Okay, so that's gonna be purple. And bam, thank you, ma'am. And then that's purple. Oh yeah, so this is pretty much how it's looking so far. All the purples. And we got Edwin the Ace launches uh that's a lot of words. Uh hail peeps. Sup dude, thanks for coming by the stream. Let me now start cleaning it up more before I even get on to other colors. So now that I pretty much got this done, just the primary color, which is purple, now I'm going to move on to just now correcting all the stuff that the bucket tool did not pick up. So now I just use the lasso tool. And then... Bam. Yeah, dude, I, I love to go really close to make sure I got everything. I mean, I'm like, <clears throat> I pretty much gained this, um, what was it? I, I gained this habit where, like, I want to make sure I get everything. Because, um, in my graphic design class, you know, I studied graphic design, so... You know, I really zoom in and look at the, literally pixels. I literally look at pixels to make sure that I get everything hell. Even when it comes to um, manipulating it, um, you know, I tried to manipulate and, and even add even a dead pixels to make, um, um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting a brain fart. Uh, oh, there's the end of that cloth there. I did not see that. So let me go and grab that. So, yeah, so I go really deep to make sure I get everything. So that way I can manipulate the, the you know, I love Photoshop. Photoshop was, I mean, at first it's going to be daunting for you, but, you know, once you get down packed and you realize like all these little other tools that you see that you know is overwhelming I mean most of those tools you're not going to use in a long run just depending on what it is a client wants but uh, most of the things for example is like the lasso tool is the one um, what else e uh, there's another one, it's called like a stamp where like you can stamp. Yeah, like you can stamp on the like an like a color that's next to it and then it kind of like paces over it. I I honestly forgot what it was, but that's another cool tool. And um that one use a lasso tool color over this okay see that I'm seeing a lot of dead pixels now that I didn't catch from my last live stream so you know after I'm done doing the color stream I will do a deeper cleanup so that way, uh, once this book is going to get printed and stuff, you know, we'll get these weird pixels going on. But who knows, you know. I have done, I did, honestly, I did print 
some of my art and I do sometimes see dead pixels on it and you know not a lot of people are going to notice it unless you look close at it but on my end as an artist I, mean, I stared at this canvas for hours on end and making sure I catch it and even uh, you know I just make sure that I got all of those dead pixels but apparently I must have missed some of it and the printer was able to catch those dead pixels so uh, just make sure that your work is clean like <laughs> literally clean okay awesome now let me take I think this is actually part of the smoke no yeah it's we'll leave that alone um that's weird didn't catch that either we'll fix that paint bucket tool and 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 okay and now get all that done okay, so I'm just I want to get this canvas done so that way I'll do all the nitty gritty which is shadows and lighting Save it now. Oh shoot! Now I'm just I just checking the chat now. Um, all right, we got Salazar Art Nation. Hello all. Uh, let me see. I was watching Trent's stream. Yeah, I was watching Trent's stream too. And then once I checked the time, I'm like, oh man, I gotta jump on my stream. And I even jumped on Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy Ray's stream really quick just to say hi. And we got Skull Diamond 94 a a Skull Diamond. Thanks for coming by the stream, dude. And we got Neil Star Productions, the brilliant star that shines through the night, the razor sharp thorn in the side of evil. Rising Man stands before you. So thank you guys so much for coming by the stream. You guys ooze of excellence, as always. So now, um, what is else? I think that's all the purples. I'm just making sure on my end, everything looks good and clean. Look at that. Bam. It's going to be nice and quick, making sure that I got all of it. And... I can go on to the next colors. You know, there's even some stuff that I honestly did not erase on my ink, so I'm going to do that now. Just clean it up. But then again, it's smoke, so technically you can still see it. So actually, I won't, I won't mess around with my inks. Let me lock it so that way I don't mistake in my stuff. Now, go on my color palette. Let me go and jump on the mask. Mask is going to be quick to get done. Okay, now. Let's go and do that. Alright, got the mask done. Go and save my progress. Then let me go to the skin. Bam. 
Uh, for now, I'll just change this into this color for now. I might change it later. And then... Let me actually erase that really quick because it's that part was it's kind of confusing honestly. I don't know why this part of that, but we'll change that now. Bam, clean. How it is on the top part. Keep the spine nice and clean. And we got the man of the hour, the Cavalry Collective. Looking good so far. Thanks, bud. Yeah, we're just 17 minutes in. And um, pretty much in the beginning of the stream, I uh, used one of the panels you gave me, uh, Cavalry. And here we go. So I pretty much marked everything. I got like the primary colors, the lighting, shadows. So that way I am set. I think the only thing I did not grab was, uh, yeah, for the chains. But I think I can easily replicate that color. So I'm not going to do it completely black. Because... Um, I already did it on the boots. I might color over the boots. Who knows? Um, let me go and turn off the color palette layer. Now, let me color the, the pants. Clean up work colors. So yeah, guys, how was your Saturday? My Saturday was good. Um, pretty much realized that I get hangry whenever I don't eat at a certain time, but that's fine. I'm not hangry, guys. I'm normal. I am a functioning normal human being now that I ate food. And um. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys get hangry? I I mostly do. I will apologize after um my burst of anger once I have food in my stomach. But other than that, oh yeah, this is way better now. Oh my gosh, how clean is that? Um, let me look at my reference because I feel like. Because it says sleeve, so I feel like I might have done something wrong when I did the whole inking process. That's not it. <laughs> Let's see. Let me look at one of the panels here. Or the cover, where I got it. Oh, so he does have sleeves. Okay. That's weird. That's fine, I'll make that fix now. Alright, so we'll use that. Oh, 
one ahead. And do that. I want to move the reference layer more closer to my flat so that way I know when to clock in and clock out. There we go. Now, I'll leave that alone. This is just this layer here. Where I'll just play around and just keep adding into the layer. Cool. Ooh, a little bit of purple here. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm that I'm that silly guys. Alright. Alright, so pretty much sleeve will be like up to there. So All right, let me fix that now. Bam. Awesome. Now it looks way better. Let me look at Rimrun really quick. Okay, so his arm is a little bit peeking out like around there, so we'll just play around here where the sleeve might be. Well, actually, if his arm is going upwards, it's kind of where that sleeve is going to look going to be, so I think it looks good. Looking awesome. All right, and Salazar Art Nation says, it's a question for Cavalry Collective. Uh, he says, uh, are you going to be offering any perks when you crowdfund? And Cavalry responds back saying, there are some ideas, but nothing is completely set in stone yet. Yeah, so, I mean, you have time, Cavalry. I mean, you have until late of June, so you have enough time to think over what your perks are or anything like that. So I'm pretty excited. Can't wait. Um, okay, so now let me go on over and get the grays done. Let me get let me do that. All right now. Boom. Boom. Uh, oh, shoot. Man, that would have been bad if I did not ca caught that. Boom. Now, on. Let me go and do the shadows now. 
Yeah, I think now is a good time to add shadows to the piece. Now the flats is done. Now we're going to do a shadow layer. That way I keep everything separate. Let me open up my color palette. And I'll grab that. And then the other color palette would be the mask. Okay, no. Nope. It's not what I wanted. Uh, which one is the color palette layer? That one. That won't be another one. I'll keep there. Oh, actually, I'm not done with my flats. Let me go and do the smoke. I'm going to do the smoke right now. Then turn the color palette off and then color the smoke. And we'll see, because I know there might be some spots where My lines aren't really completed. I really do like the smoke. It makes it really cool. It has this bluish tone to it, which makes it really unique in a way. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to happen like that. <laughs> Since it's an incomplete line, you know. Clip City had a moment to pause and be like, oh, there's no, there's no complete line. So I'm going to blow up and change our whole entire page. That's fine. We got it. I can do that. I can do this freehand. Bam. Okay, now we're set. Okay. Now we can do shadows. We got shadow layer. Color palette. Uh, okay, so I got the shadows for the black. Yeah, for that, and I think I'll leave the mask for last. For that one, I want to do the pants. So that way, I get the clothing done. So now, let's do the paint bucket tool again. We'll do the. Oh man, this looks really good. I love the color palette. Uh oh, I did it in the wrong way. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wanna get too ahead of myself. Okay, good. Alright, so now I'm on the shadows layer. Okay, there you go. Okay. So yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Hope you're having fun with this and I am because, oh man, I just love, I love, I love what um, Paul's artist did. Uh, Paul, did your artist did the coloring as well or you, or you hired a colorist because I love the colors. It is so nice.
right now. All right, I've been too quiet with you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking because just you know just to interact with you guys. So um pretty much <clears throat> excuse me. Um yeah, so I'm gonna start um doing like look into some tutorials on Udemy on like creating um you know anatomy and stuff because that's something like I'm kind of I kind of um it's like that's kind of something like I was a little bit struggling with because you know I will learn anatomy and doing dynamic poses and stuff I you know if I know how to do those simple things I know that my whole progress with drawing and stuff is going to be way much better now and my pacing with art itself is going to be much better so, my goal is just try to get a page done within a day. Both inking, well, both sketching, inking, and coloring. Everything done under one day. Latest, the second day, and then we'll start trying to finish the second page. <laughs> and then... Hmm. All right, and then another one that we'll add shadows to is this spot here. Man, these colors are beautiful. And I know I said it many times, but man, these colors are really, really nice. Okay, save. All right, awesome. Uh, Calvary Collective says, yeah, Brandon does pencils, inks, letters, and colors. Wow, man. He is literally, wow, he's a total package, dude. You really got a really, really great artist working on this project, dude. Uh, he's the whole package. I love the way he colors. Yeah, his colors are beautiful, man. Fantastic artist. Let me see. As soon as I saw the Nightcrawler piece and his original comic pieces I just knew I had to have him do the colors too yeah man this these colors are beautiful man let me see uh Jason Crompton aka Haunted Foxes on Instagram also does great coloring work too he designed a character who I can't reveal until a couple of months after bump back number one has been out Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, Jason has done a piece for Adam Lawson before, too. Oh, what? That is nuts. Wow, man. I'm so excited, dude. So excited. Holy crap. That's awesome, man. Really, really hyped for this. All right. Now, I want to head in. Do some airbrushing now. Okay, now.
this going? Yeah, so now I'm just airbrushing some of the spots, like all the all the bent parts that I put on the cloth so that way it gives more depth. Then all this here, then there. Yeah, this is looking so cool. Holy crap, man. I love this airbrush. This airbrush is from uh, one of the brush sets from Trent, uh, Trent Canuga. And man, I love it so much, man. This airbrush is fantastic. This is really ups the ante my quality of my work and you know I'm not saying any brushes you buy I mean hopefully it's gonna make your stuff look good regardless but it's just how you know just knowing how to use a tool and use it properly regardless of how much dollars you spent on a brush if you don't know how to use it then you know you just gotta learn the basics before you jump in invest on tools like this because you know it might be something you're, you don't really expect to be you know and you know you're also investing a lot as well because you don't know if maybe it's not going to work out for you or maybe it's not really um you're totally invested on oh my god yeah um kind of look too smudgy like over here in the Right, I don't like how smudgy it looks, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go and do that, kind of erase it so that way it doesn't look too much. There's like light taps here and there. God, this looks awesome. Yeah, thanks again, Paul, for this opportunity, man. I love it, dude. Love bump back. Glad to be a part of it. Calvary Collective, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you, bud. I'm glad that you're really enjoying this color stream so far. Let's see. And we got the juke joint. Hello, everyone. And Dr. Nick Vo Oh, my gosh. This is freaking um, Futurama. Oh, man. That is funny. Hello, everyone. Isn't everyone or everybody? Dr. Nick. Oh, from Simp, gosh, wow, from, oh, jeez, man, freaking, he even wrote it too, Simpsons, gosh, I am so sorry, I'm so sorry, Juke. Let me see, uh, Scott Circland has some nice brushes, I don't know Scott Circland, I'll look into him too, um, I honestly have not heard of him. I know Trent Canuga. I mean, I've followed that dude since 2012. Maybe in late 2012 or actually much later than that. Actually, I think 2013 is when I discovered Trent Canuga. And I loved, like, his character designs and, like, how he does it. So, um, I followed Trent for a long time. So, I'm... I'm pretty aware of how his work is, and, you know, it's something that I honestly want to do. Back then, I wanted to do video games, so, um, 
like I wasn't really good of an artist than I am now because I didn't really like I stopped doing um I stopped drawing uh when I was 15 years old because I don't know it's, it was weird if you ever asked me what was the reason why I stopped drawing I wouldn't I would honestly would not know the answer to it but I mean I just stopped and stopped and the only reason it got me back into drawing was you know you get to do you know you get to work doing video games and stuff and um do concept work and that's another thing too that i learned is like there's a thing called concept art and i'm like ooh, concept art what the heck is concept art and pretty much it's like uh you just do rough sketches rough paintings like how trent does and then you just try to finalize it and make it into this um this, you know, the scraps of ideas until, like, you can make it into a final piece. And I really like that. I, I had a passion for video games. Like, I love video games. I know, like, I had a favorite, um, what was it? Like, I had, like, a favorite studios. I love Naughty Dog. I love Blizzard. Um, Nintendo, um, I don't know. I wasn't... I wasn't too crazy with Nintendo, but Blizzard, and, um, like, there was a few studios I really liked that, um, you know, I, I really wanted, and they even know exactly when a game is going to be good or it's going to be terrible before it was even going to be out. So, and, um... And then um, there was this time at school where they showed um, this Netflix documentary called Indie Game. And so uh, within that Indie Game movie, like, I was so mesmerized by, like, just two people just working in their house. Yeah, just working in the comfort of their own house. Spent and in invest, like, a year or two creating a game, and, um, pretty much, you know, just start promoting it, get to network, and, like, just do deals with freaking, like, Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, Xbox was, back in the day, like, we're talking about Nintendo, Nintendo, um, Xbox 360 at the time, okay, this is, like, around that time frame, with this movie, um, Xbox 360 was really, really, like, like, if Xbox 360 wasn't big enough, I mean, they were huge with the indie game market, and they were way ahead of, um, PlayStation, so, you know, um, Xbox 360 was really on the ball, and really helping out with the indie game community, so, you know, there was these developers, I wish I remember their names, but they were great developers. My favorite of the documentary was uh, creators of of Meat Boy, and you know the inspiration and the idea behind it. But you get like a good grasp on the reality of indie games. Like yeah, like get to play your own game and have people you know play it and stuff, and you gotta test drive it gotta make sure it works all of that stuff but they literally have not you know they just show the parts where you know that it's not it's not it's a very lonely um oop wrong color <laughs> um it is a really lonely uh hot not a hobby because these guys do it like full time um, it is a very, uh, lonely, um, it's a really lonely creative place, and I didn't really much mind that, because I wasn't really social, I was very focused on just getting my classes done. Um, I made sure, like, I get to social events, because, um, I know I had a few friends, that were still in uh, high school at the time. Um, one of them were graduating in 2013. I wasn't able to go there, go to their graduation, 
because I had like a freaking test on the same day as, yeah, no, I had to study for a test on that day that they had the graduation, so I wasn't able to go, and I was so upset and disappointed, because I really, really wanted to go and see them, but I wasn't able to, but the youngest one, like our youngest friend of the of our uh, group, uh, he graduated, I was able to see his, I was able to join their graduation, and yeah, man, it's crazy how life is, there's, um, you know, I kind of learned at that time where, you know, there's going to be some parts of life where you're going to miss out, and, you know, you do your best to not miss it out, I mean, as long as your heart, you know, and your heart's content, you know that, um, that you wanted to be there, but unfortunately, due to certain circumstances that's out of your control, you know, it it was not, <clears throat> um, you know, it wasn't really much possible on your end. Let me, see. Let me check on the chat. Juke Joint says close, uh, same creator. Uh, Cirqueworks is a good channel. Yeah, no, I Cirqueworks was I discovered that channel when um, I started drawing again around the two thousand eight, literally the beginning of two thousand eight. Um, in the beginning of two thousand eight, I started drawing again, and I knew that I wanted to do comics because I tried doing video games. I tried developing my own games. I was able to do like at least some demos and stuff, but not a full complete game. And it's very time consuming. And, you know, if you don't have a, if you don't know a programmer, then, you know, there was no point. You know, I tried learning programming. Like I took like online courses and stuff and paid monthly just to learn like one certain uh, coding language and then when I learned about that coding language it turns out um I learned Java I know how I know how to script Java um it's been a long time since I've done it but it turned out I used I was trying to use Unity they use JavaScript so I'm like oh, so are you telling me there's two different so anyways um fast forwarding Cirqueworks I love Cirqueworks I love his tips on comics and stuff so I totally do recommend you guys checking that channel out. Um, yeah, it's called Cirque Works Art Lab. Awesome channel. Yeah, no, I love that channel. I hope he grew some audience after that channel because, I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a long time, honestly, that I've watched that channel. Because I was just so, so focused on just doing my own stuff, networking, and, you know... Just trying to get my art out there. Like, I'm, you know, after this, like, all this stuff is going to be on my portfolio. So, I really can't wait to, um, just drop, just, uh, just put this on my freaking website. Um, and also try to work on my stuff as well along the way. Um, oh, shoot. Why the heck did I got to that one? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I know you guys can't see on my end, but I was using, like, another airbrush, and I'm like, that that was not the one I was using. But it's all good. I'm using the right one now. I don't know how the switch happened, but it happened, guys. And I'm sorry. But don't worry. I'm here to make those those changes on my end and acknowledge it for it. Now, let's go and do that. Let's get a nice little soft.
Let me go and fix that flat really quick, guys. Intel and boom. Just gonna work on my flat layer really quick. Just to get rid of all of these purples that was left on this piece. Let me clean that up. I don't want that to be touching my freaking pages. You know what? I did not even color this freaking book. I'm such a skipper, guys. So, do that. Huh. Uh, cool. Alrighty. Now... Let me go back on the chat really quick. Uh, Juke Joint says, uh, gotta send me your pencils for gators so I can gosh them bad boys. Pronounced go wash. Oh! Yeah, it sounded like how it's pronounced is gosh. So it's actually pronounced go wash. Gosh, our English language is so confusing. <laughs> Golly. Let me see. Uh, Salazar Art Nation says, Cirque Works did an unboxing of comics recently. He unboxed the first two anthologies of the 9-volt. I have stories in both. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Let me see. I plan on having Scott Cirkland on the Taraco Creative Cast soon. Oh, awesome, dude. I can't wait. You see, Nicholas uh, Moeller says, this is looking amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. Yeah, man. I'm so happy how it's looking so far, man. I'm super, super happy. I need some JRPG in my life. <laughs> For all of you guys who are watching, uh, he's not m mentioning um, Japanese role-playing game. But for all of you, uh, Total Excellence Army, you all know what JRPG stands for. It's called Juvenile Radioactive Pro Wrestling Gators. And, man, I'm just so happy of the character designs I made these characters. Um, you know, I will do a live stream soon. It's just now, I'm just so happy I'm getting, I'm, I'm happy I'm getting busy now with doing commission work and stuff. And I'm going to have some stuff on my portfolio added on to soon. So, you know, thank you all so much for just commissioning me and keeping me busy. <laughs> thank you all so much. All right. Nicholas Mueller says, uh, Paul, Paul is the Calvary Collective, guys. Uh, Paul, fun question. If you had unlimited cash and could hire any professional art team for your book, who could that be? All right. So... Calvary Collective says, for Bump Back, as far as I'm concerned, the style of Brandon on Instagram and Jason Crampton from Haunted Fox on uh, on Instagram are it for me. Oh, wow. Okay, so you, you're you fixed with those guys. You have nobody else. Okay, that's really cool, man. Really, really cool. And we got... Draw Talk by Tyler Carpenter. Them purple's looking dope. Thank you, thank you, Tyler. I actually um color picked them from the original colors, but just to make the colors of the purples even more interesting, I used uh Trent Kanuka's um Photoshop brushes and thank God for this new Clip Studios update. Now I can transfer all those Photoshop brushes over to Clip Studio. So now I'm literally, literally all in one shop. I'm so happy with that update. And of course, the time lapse, which is going to make everything, everything look super dope. I'm just so happy. Um, let me see. Um, it's 
So Paul says, uh, the bump back styles. Now I have, I do have ideas for shorts and other things where I would incorporate other artists in the future, but I could have all the money in the world and those guys are still it. Wow. That's awesome. JRPG, janky role-playing game? No! No, Salazar. No! No. Alright, now... Uh, boom, boom, boom. You know what? Let me cool down with the purples a bit. With, uh, okay, I got the airbrush. Let me do that. Let me chill. Let me get those purples chilled out. Let me calm those purples down. They're being too purpley. If that's even a word. Purpley? I guess. I don't know. Um, all right. Now. Yeah, let me work on the book. Because that's the one thing I did not color is the book. So since there's no color set for it, I'm going to have fun with that book. Let's try this brown here in one of my color sets. My custom color set, actually. So, I'm just going to be messy here. And then, all of that. Let's try this one. Is it making any? Yeah, actually, it looks kind of better. Kind of debating on that. It's too paley. Nah. Too paley. I like that brown more. How about this brown? Okay, this brown is... Uh, no. I am not digging that brown. How about this color? Okay, I kind of... I kind of like this brown more. It has that creepy vibe to it. And it, and it pretty much complements where I'm going for with this piece. Yeah, this is way better now. Okay, now, now I'm satisfied. I'm happy with this piece. Go and get rid of all these snowflakes here. Now I gotta get rid of the shadow piece here. Now let me lock it again before I accidentally color it. We'll get excited, because that's what I tend to do. All right, now. Let me go in. Change that brown. Not change the brown. What am I talking about? There's this bottom part where I did not color. So we'll change that. Boom. Okay. Now the pages. It's going to be a little bit yellow. Give it that like, nice old yellow color to it. Let's try this yellow. Mm. <laughs> Where's the paint bucket tool? Do I have it? Yeah, I have it on here. Oh god, no, that that is too bold of a yellow. 
Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. Everyone say uh, bye, Felicia. Gosh dang it. This is... No. All right. So... Hmm. All right. So what I'll do is... I'll, I'm going to use this yellow, okay? And then what I'm going to do is... Let me see. There you go. So I switched the uh, hue colors to HLS, so that way I can lighten it up a bit. And we'll go even much more lighter. So that way it gets that old paperly look, like um kind of like you know what happens whenever whenever you have like a book and you open it for so long under the sun. I think it really depends on the paper back in the day too, like um really depends on the quality of the paper because you know whenever the paper gets old like it gets the colors start to diminish because the quality of our paper now is way different but the papers they had back then which is like thousands and thousands of years ago you know it just gives that you know old yellow page look to it and yeah, I'm happy how this looks. Um, we'll make it a little bit darker. We'll try a little bit darker. And, you know, since I'll color it in one side, so that way we can compare it. Um, not exactly how I want it. It's just, it's just, I'm just nitpicking right now. No, I like the colors I have on the original piece, so I'm pretty settled with that decision. Bam. Yeah, this is way better now. See, so yeah, draw and talk. Hey, Calvary Collective, it's nice to have internet and start watching streams again. Yeah, dude. I'm so sorry. You know, just to let everyone know in context, you know, um, you know, I talked with Tyler because he he wrote on his Discord that you know that he he's moved to his new place now. So you know, I asked him. Hope you know, I was hoping that it went smooth, like it was a smooth transition, because moving is very stressful. And all that stuff. Whenever it comes to just moving. <laughs> period. And I had my share experience. I did help like a few friends. Whenever they move to a new place. So it gets. It gets really tedious. Especially with huge furniture. Holy cow man. But um. You know. Uh, Tyler says it was really intense. But you know. He's just glad that. You know. Everything is settled now. So. Happy about that. Can't wait for Monday for a new video of Draw and Talk. Uh, all right. Let me actually, what else should I do next? I mean, I could do shadows on the book as well. It just now is figuring out, you know what? I can use this purple here. Now we're gonna do some science. I'm gonna do science for now. Now, God, where is a brown in this? All right, now. All right, so this is pretty much just dark brown here. I wish I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. So, but then my calculations move in that thing. I think I made a good decision. 
of what the brown might be for the shadow. Where is the brown for this one? Oh man, I'm way off. <laughs> so it's over here. Can you see on my end? No, you can't. Gosh dang it. I wish you guys could see on my end what the heck I'm talking about because I'm on my color settings. So it's not exactly how I've calculated it to be. So... now is a part of playing guessing game. Well, not really. I can actually use the HSV and then I'll start darkening it for just the parts where I just add shadows to it. Let's put the flats down. Now, let's go on ahead and use airbrush, which is my favorite tool. Um, let me go on ahead and just draw over these lines here. Bam. Alright, let me add more to these lines. Now that I have those little ants there. Okay. Let me see. Is it even going any darker? I guess not. I see no difference. Huh. Let me go a little bit more darker. There you go. Now I can tell it's getting dark. Alright, so now... Um, airbrush is really lightly, you know? As you know, this is a creepy book. Ooh. Alright, I got these really awkward, um, this awkward, like, straight pixels, like, you know, like, it just had a really bad suntan. Like, you see what I mean? You can see, like, these lines here, like, it's just, it's just perfect lines, but it looks unnatural, you know? It does not look like shadows. Shadows do not look like freaking straight lines. You just have like this little nice transition of an airbrush. So you're going to see this airbrush working its magic. So now I'm going to go and play around with my, my magical, magical airbrush. I call it the Trenkanuga airbrush because that's where I got it. Gosh dang it. Looks, now, now it's got a really bad suntan now. Or what I can do... Just use that thing here. Bam, now we're cooking gas. What the heck is this called anyways? Well, when you use Clip Studios, I know Tyler has Clip Studios. Um, in your color swatches, in the very bottom, it's like this checker piece where it's basically your alternative for an eraser. So you have it all in one stop. So, pretty much gonna go and Color this end here. And then just airbrush it. Just just speak it fairly lightly, you know? Just tell it that you love it. Give it love, you know? Just tell it how you feel. I feel like um like an angry version of Bob Ross. But I'm trying to keep my cool. I think. Do you agree with my uh my uh um digital painting theology? I do. Okay. 
Um, that was weird. All right, let me go and check on the chat. Uh, boom. So yeah, uh, Calvary Collector says, uh, it just hit me. Your grimoire almost looks at home in an Andrew McLean book, creator of Had Lopper. I wish I was that cool, bro. Just so even for you guys who even know all these freaking creators. I don't know Andrew McLean or his book, uh, Head Lopper. But I will check that out after the stream. I will check that out. You guys are making me look over stuff. Let me look up people and, you know, I might like their stuff and I'll throw money at them. Say, hey, keep keep doing what you're doing, please. I want you employed. Just stay independent, please. Uh-oh. Colored over his finger. Ooh, I see what I did wrong. All right. Let me switch my color swatch. That way it is the same brown as I chose before. I don't know why it sounds like that, but no. I like to do voice impressions sometimes just for fun. For funsies. Um Oh, no freaking wonder I can't even, like, I forgot to switch swaps because I'm like, I'm on my shadow layer. Why isn't it changing any colors? And I know why. I'm not, I didn't switch the color swap. Huh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, shoot. It's part of the inks. Yeah, that that's annoying me. Come here, you. You will not make the quality of my art poo-poo. You nerd. There, I said I said the N-word, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry. You know, I, I said nerd. Didn't mean to. Forgive me, guys. Um, I just have a feeling they're going to clip that and use it out of context. <laughs> oh, boy. I am afraid now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. Who knows? I'll find out later on. When many years to come. And I'll be like, what the heck? What the heck did I say? I said nerd. Let's see, uh, Zalazar Art Nation says, see you all later. See you. See you, Sal. Thanks for coming by. All right, all right, all right. Now. Yeah. Don't like how I did the shadows in this. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Oh, I know exactly what I was doing. Not correct. That's what I did. All right. Now that I'm done uh, bashing myself. Yeah. Guys, close your eyes. Especially you, Paul. You, you don't need to see this. Everything you have to see, you're allowed to see perfection. Okay? My credibility cannot be tarnished by these type of mistakes. You'll all have to say very nice things, and um, you gotta you gotta write a summary, okay? You gotta write a summary of how amazing I am. Um, 
that I'm going to be the next big thing. Um, I'm going to get paid way more better than Rob Liefeld. And uh, Todd McFarlane will be my personal writer for all my books. Um, Spawn is going to be canceled. No, no, I, will, I won't go that far off. Not canceled. Um, finished. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we'll do 300 issues. Hopefully he'll still be alive after I do my 300. And, uh, yeah, um, that's that's the game plan, guys. Let's, let's get rock and rolling. I'm kidding. <laughs> Golly, I I honestly cannot imagine just doing 300 issues. Just trying to complete one book is just stressful enough. Hey, Paul, for the um, belt around his buckle, is it brown or is it going to be the same color like black? I want to know on your end in the chat so that way, you know, it's consistent in the pages. Let me actually color the buckle. All right, so I'm going to use that color here. And then I'm going to switch over to the flats layer. And then, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. And come on, Ignis, what's it up with with these snowflake pickles? I was about to say pickles. Snowflake. Can you imagine a world with snowflake pickles? I would find it very interesting. It's like instead of like different um. So have like different patterns of a snowflake, it's, it's freaking pickles. I don't know guys. I just know I'm not hungry. Oh I got I gotta have colored that other buckle too on his left foot. Or just to be technically correct, um, his right foot. Bam. Uh, keeping up with the gothish look, and it'll be black. Okay, perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then I'll use that gray. Well, that blackish gray here for the pants, so that way it's not too blended in too much. So that way you can kind of see. I might even change that black. It's too black. I want to make sure that you know. Um. Ooh, did I put it? Oh yeah, I put it on the wrong layer. Okay. Uh, perfect. 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 We go and do that now on the flats layer. I might change the black on the. Oh no! Whoa, my bad. I'm sorry if I scared you guys. That was a huge error on my end. Now. Um. Uh, okay. So, let me get rid of the inks here. Use my magic wand tool. Get all the blacks. Oh, but then, oh crap. Now I just realized too that I would get rid of the line work as well. Hmm. Wish I thought that through before I even put it all in the same layer. Oof, that was a big mistake on my end. All right, I can fix this. Okay, I can create another layer. And then, what I will do is color over it. I'll just call it boots. And then, select a layer over it. 
and then bam. Now it's this really cool color to it. Now it's going to be lineless. So then, looks kind of weird, but don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so. Gone. I'm gonna be doing extra work that I could honestly, I could honestly avoid, but it's all good. I'll take my time making sure my line work is showing and it doesn't look too awkward. All right, now, um, I think I'm going to color those boots. Back. Why is the opacity 62? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Now we have a little bit of a pickle. That's weird, though. Okay. Now I know why I did what I did. So. So I'm going to make sure my line work appears. You can still see the blacks. Why is this really weird? Okay, so those little specks are, I guess those are the inks. That's really odd though. And now, uh, all right, let's look at it now. Okay, so it looks way cleaner now. Hmm, that is really weird. It's like I'm using the same blacks that I'm using for the inks. Let me just color. Let me just make sure I cut. Okay, let's try now. Okay, so let's try now. Okay, now it's starting to blend. Get much better. I was getting a little concerned.
But I got it figured out, guys. See, I am a professional. Okay, guys? Even when I make a mistake, you just got to problem solve it. That is all. Alright, now, just figuring out what to do next. It's kind of weird that I have this freaking, um, the boot is not even like, hold on. Uh, okay, flats. Oh, the boots layer really quick. Okay, so it's gonna be that gray. Shadows. Oh, no wonder. That's why it's giving that. Alright, so. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a no no. God, color that over. Uh oh. Wrong layer. There we go. Let's go and play around with the fire. So with the fire, I want to kind of like 
complement the purple more. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to like Adobe uh, Color Palette. So that way it gives it a complementary, it gets, it's going to give me a complementary color where, you know, the name of the word itself um, says for itself. It just helps like make, uh, it just, you know, it just complements the color. It gives it a nice match to it. So, I'm going to go and go a couple of Mary. Bam. So, it's going to be this green is going to be a comment. And there's also another cool thing called split complementary. So, it's still giving me, like, some greens and this cool gold color. So, I might use a split complementary. So, now, grab this green here. And then I'm gonna really go nuts with it. And now I'm gonna create another layer just dedicated to the fire. I'm gonna call this called the fire brush. Bam. Let me go and save my progress before I jump onto anything else. So is it going to capture anything? No. My, my fire is too loose, so it's not really going to catch anything. Alright, it's all good. It's all good in the hood, dudes. So, it's going to be called Fire Brush. I'm wondering Trent's uh, brush is if there's an actual, gives it an actual uh, fire look to it. See, I think there is, but I'm kind of scared that it might eat up the freaking. There's smoke. We don't need smoke. We just need fire. You know, there's still like Clip Studio on. Like, um, it's near perfect, but, you know, there will be some, um, Photoshop brushes where, like, uh, the brushes are kind of, like, meh. Well, not meh, but, like, it's, it's a bit glitchy, so, doesn't give it exactly how the original, um, brush would be on Photoshop. So, if I can find... Good, good. How's this? Okay. I can dig it. Now let's go and do that. Get that nice fire look to it. crazy with it. Now I'll be playing. I'm, I'm just going to be messy for now, dudes, but it'll be near perfection. So now actually 
Let me actually delete that. Let's try this brush. Okay, that's a little too harsh. Huh. How about this? What does this brush do? What does this brush will give me? Uh, it's barely anything. Let's try this whole smoke thing. What does a smoke give me? Uh, that's a thing. I don't want it to look like it's smoke. I just want to look like it's fire. I think there was, at one point, he did have a fire, but he literally bought all his brushes, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just trying to good, find a really good brush. Oh god. And yeah, now that is smoke. Whoa, that is so trippy. <laughs> Just go back and just use an um let me just use an airbrush because it's not really working out on my end dudes. I'll just select the stuff that I have closed. That way I can give it that nice. Oh shoot, I have everything selected. Shine. Okay, that line is incomplete. That's fine. We'll work with this. Now airbrush. Go to my fire layer. Just keep everything nice and like a brush. Where's the uh, wand tool? So that way I can select the other one here that I did not select before. Is it connected? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's give that little airbrush more. 
power to it. Now I know what to do exactly. So, what I'll do is just solve my problems here. I'll just actually color it like it's in a flat layer. And after I'm done coloring it, I'm actually gonna like um, delete it using the wand tool. And then have the airbrush of the fire kept so it had that nice nice looking like it actually looks like it's fire Transform want it to be fire. Well, flat fire. Bam. Paintbrush, damn. Oh, geez. I didn't, admit, I didn't think it would be that cool. Oh, well. All right, now. So I pretty much got to color it like that, or not really, I can just use the lasso tool what I was doing before. Go.
That. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Send me. Yeah, I might have loot well. Interesting. All right, go and make sure. All the good stuff here. Ooh. Hey. Any more green here? Yes, there is more green there. Get it going. All the stuff that was white that I spotted now. Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry I've been quiet, guys. I just want to... You know me. Once I'm quiet, like I want to be really focused on getting this piece done. And then get on with the next commission. After that one. So he's got to talk with the client and see... Uh, where we're gonna go from there? It's gonna be like another pinup cover. That I'm pretty excited for. Um, go. Almost done with the flames, guys. I'm really excited for this piece. How it's gonna turn out. Actually, go and get this. Oh man, we're almost done guys with this fire. The wait is going to be finally over guys. Thank you guys for bearing with me. With everything. Now, moment of truth. 
So now that you guys can see, because before, like, I could not even catch anything, because again, nothing, nothing was solid or, um, concrete. But now, now is a different story. Now I can freaking do this. Now this one here, just gonna get rid of all of those. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Now, it's all or nothing, guys. Now, it's literally one shot to make it big. Keep going. Do this. Bam. Awesome. Keep going. Do that. A little technical work here and there, but we're making it work. Awesome. Now. So this hand is going to be the focal point. Now. Okay, now we're going to get a more darker green. So I'm going to go back into here. Can you see how I undo? Okay, no. I was doing it right. Okay. Now. Go and use this, go to the color swatch, bam. Now, hmm. I'm gonna be using a hard brush to see how this hard, yeah, no, that's, that's way too hard. Let's try this brush here. Too grainy. Huh. 
I think it looks good. I can be wrong, but... That was a cool effect, but I think I kind of like how I was going with the airbrush. Okay, don't want to go too back. Yeah, we'll do like a more of a splatter effect to it with the shadow. The darker part where the spell is going to be. Yeah. So now, let's go and play around. Okay, perfect. Now, the fire shadow thing on. Don't need to worry about anything that's going over. Thing. Slow toothbrush. He was not that was he was not kidding about that brush being like freaking um leaves because those literally weren't leaves. Okay. Don't do that over again. Nope. Not that too far off. All right. I'm pretty happy how this fire looks. Now, let me go back to my tool sets here. Um, let me go and save my progress. And my color palette that is here. Where's the mask? This is for the mask. Now that I have the mask, go in.
Airbrush here and there. These shadows. Oh God, yeah, that is something that you gotta keep an eye on, is just be very careful whenever you do that, otherwise what's gonna happen is put too much pressure on the airbrush and the airbrush kinda gets all over the place. Make the pages a little bit more darker. And now. Uh oh. What the heck did I do? There you go. These are wrong. Lighten up the shadows a bit. I feel like it's a little too much going on. Alright, now, um, 
Use the color palette really quick. Put the shadows in. Bam. Now, Well, you got the, these shadows, now I can like play around with the background colors and how I want this to look. Right there. Now, let's go to the flats layer. I think this is cool. I don't know. 
favorite part is throwing this bad boy in. Now, it's the airbrush. Uh, actually, this one actually worked better that way. Okay, now let's try that. Uh, somewhat. I don't really can tell what going. Get a more darker color to it. There you go. Now, now, Okay, now put the color wheel. Now we're going to use this color here. There's a complimentary, this is going to be the background color for the paper. Let's go. Bam. Oh, yeah. So now, we're going to do some lighting. So we're going to use. Let's try uh, Glow Dodge. We're going to use that same color of that. And then we're going to blow it up. Let's try that again. Ooh. It's a good thing. It's a good thing once I change the color, it's actually showing me the color I missed. So, where's my color palette thing? Color palette. Okay, here's the shadows. Forgot to add that. Paint bucket tool. Bam. Right now, try that one more time. That's weird. This didn't even do anything.
that's going. Now, I'm seeing a lot of stuff that did not go through that very well. What the heck? That is very interesting how that happened. So, um, all right. All right, let's go in. Fix that right now. Let me find my color palette tool for the mask. Just add the shadow layer to it. No big deal. It's easy fix. That's really weird. I swore I freaking used the uh, same gray for the flats. Alright. We'll try that again. Go and do that right now. Okay, let me turn off. Bam, thank you, man. Turn that off, color about thing. Now, turn that color palette on again. Airbrush. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Most definitely, man. Thanks so much.
So let me zoom out so that way. Let's go and darken that thumb a bit. Not too much and not too little. There are still like a few specks here and there that we'll fix. Bam. And. <laughs> you still slaving away? I am not. I'm just playing with my, my, uh, how can I say, uh, my options. I'm playing around with my options. Alright, so, can do. I don't like it that much. But we will do that again. So, I'm going to save that layer. Now, we actually go in. Oh God, jeez Louise. Try to. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go in the shadow layer. To my color palette. Now, um, geez Louise, I always keep losing track where the shadow layer is. Not shadow layer, the uh, color palette for the reference. There we go. Now, Right now, hmm. Let's try this thing called a blend smudge. Okay. 
Whoa. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going a little bit more lighter. And then uh, do a little splatters here and there. The toothbrush is the one I like the most. And I'm going to use half tones. I'm just going to make it a little bit more cooler. Awesome. I think now I'll use, I'll do like a glow effect. See a glow dodge. Let's try color burn maybe. Try that. Let's see how that will go. Oh, no. That did not, this did not work out. Need like another, another brush for that job. There we go. I think that's way better. That looks good, guys. What do you guys think? I think I'm confident to say I'm done. Yeah, I think I can say that. Kind of want to change up this, though. So, well done. I really want to play around with this glow here. Shadows, fire, brush. Purple fire glow. Give that little nice hand, just this nice glow. Ah. Nah. Dang, man.
Okay, now let's try. Oh God! <laughs> nope, that that went too crazy on me. Alright guys, I think it's time to end the stream. Alright, let me go and switch cams right now. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. Uh, you guys, ooze of excellence as always. It was a lot of fun coloring this. Um, I'm going to go... And send it to Paul, get approved, or maybe it'll be some changes that he wishes, or who knows. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching it all the way through. Um, it was a blast. You know, sorry I wasn't talking that much or interacting with you guys. But, you know, I want to get this page done. So thank you guys all so much. You guys ooze of excellence, as always. God bless. See you guys in the next stream.